Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use notifications inside of your application with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is what we're trying to accomplish. When I click on this button right here, a notification pops up saying you won. Click go to continue. And then when I exit out of the application, then we're also going to have a, pop a notification pop up after a certain amount of time. So, And then this will also have the ability to close where it just stays on the home screen or you can go to the application. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. And this Xcode project will be a single view application, although this will apply to many other applications. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine uh, Notifications. And our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Although this will work universally and iPad. Click next and create. Now I'm just going to make this a bit bigger and we need to go into our main dot storyboard. First, we want to add our a button into the middle of the scene and this button will actually be used to call a notification when you're inside of this application. Say uh, you you lose a game or something like that. You want this app, you want this when you click this button, you want an alert to show or something like that. It, this is just a general idea. You can use this in any circumstance that you want. I'm just going to center this by just right-clicking or control, clicking and dragging from our button and centering it horizontally and vertically. And now that will be it. So let's go over to, actually first let's open up our attributes inspector just up here in the top right corner. Right click or control clicking drag from that button over to our view controller.swift file. And we're going to make this in, sorry, right click or control, click and drag from our button again. And we're going to make this connection an action. For the name of this action, we're just going to call this push notification. So we're just going to push a notification onto the screen. And that will do for that button. Let's close our assistant editor and we're going to go to our viewcontroller.swift file. All right, now we're actually going to create this alert view. So first of all, we need to say variable. You, uh, we'll just call this alert view. Colon are actually equals UI alert controller. So UI alert controller. So this is what actually controls what we're going to do with the, this alert view that is popping up. So just say open quotation mark. And inside of that, you will you want this title, message, preferred style. So in the title, we're just going to say U1. So this is like the, the biggest title that's on there. And then the message will say something like uh, press, press go to continue. Like so. And the preferred style will be UI alert controller style dot alert. Now if we built and ran this right now, first of all nothing would happen so we need to add this onto our view controller itself. So we just say self dot present view controller. So we're presenting this alert controller that we just created. So now inside of this first part uh, we say alert alert view or this alert view that we just created right up here. Animated we'll say sure or true. It's going to be animated. And then for our completion, we don't want anything to happen, so we're just going to say nil. And then right after this, you well, first thing, if you built and ran this right now, you will see that there's no cancel button, there's nothing. Or you click on this button right now, it says U1, press go to continue, but there's no go button. So let's fix that. So down here, you want to say alert view dot add action. Add action, and this will be a UI alert action, action, open bracket, I mean open parentheses, and inside of that you will see title, style, handler. So inside of the title we'll just say, the title of this will be go. Will it, What will the style be? It'll just be a normal style. So just say UI alert action style dot default. Handler, nil. We won't have anything different with our handler. Now go down here and let's, I mean, go up right here and let's build and run our project. 
And now if we click on our button, it will have U1, press go to continue. And then you click go, and it just goes back to, straight to your application. So that's how you would add a notification onto your button. Now let's go ahead and add a notification that pops up in the background, say if your timer is done on Clash of Clans. So when Clash of Clans is done, that typically sends a notification saying your city is built or something like that. Never really played the game myself, but that's how it works, I believe. And now inside, so in order for this to be done, we need to go into our appdelegate.swift and we need to add the following code. We need to say application dot register user notification settings user notification settings. Inside of this you want to say UI user notification uh, settings like so and then open open parentheses, I mean open, yeah, open parentheses, four types, and this type uh, of, this, this is the type of notification we want. We want a notification of sound, we want a notification of an alert, and we want a banner. So in, in order to do this, you just say uh, UI user notification type dot alert, and then you do a straight line up and that's just right above your return key, so just say shift, and it's the slash key. And it should give you that straight line that you see right there. So UI user notification type dot alert, and then we will have UI user notification type dot badge. And then lastly, UI user notification type dot sound. So we're going to have either an alert, a badge, or a sound that plays when a notification goes off. Our categories, we'll just say nil as we don't have any categories that we want to put this in. So let's go over to our viewcontroller.swift and we want to create our notification. So in, in order to do this, let's actually create a new function which is going to hold our notification so we can call it later on using timers and other things. So just say func. Uh, this will be a notification. Yeah, we'll just call it notification function, and then open open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, enter, close curly bracket, and and now let's build this notification. So let's say var notif notification equals UI local notification. This is a local notification, meaning that it's not being called from the web. A notification is not coming from the web. It's coming straight from your device. So var notification equals UI notif local notification, open parentheses, close parentheses. Now inside of this, you want to say notification dot alert action. Now this alert action is actually what what do you want to do? You want to go back to the application or you want to cancel? So the cancel is automatically there by default, but the alert action you have to add yourself. So say notification dot alert action equals open parentheses, close parentheses, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, sorry. And this is going to be saying go back to app, or we'll just see, go back to app. And then after that, you want to say notification dot alert body. So this is actually what's going to be, it's sort of the message of the notification. So we can easily just say, build your fortress. Even though this isn't a game, but whatever. Build your fortress. And then down here, you want to say notification dot Actually, we don't want a, a launch image. We will do that another day. So now we want to say UI application dot shared application dot schedule local notification and then open parentheses, close parentheses. And inside of those parentheses, you want to put in this notification that you just created right there. 
So we're just gonna type in notification. So it's going to call this notification outside of the application itself. So now go down here and we can say notification and I forgot to add something. And also be sure anything that you're adding onto this notification, be sure it's right, it's always before this part right here or else it will not work properly. So now you say notification.fire date. So this is the fire date, meaning that after 10 seconds or something, this is going to fire. So let's say notification.fire date equals ns date date open parentheses and this is going to be time interval since now and we're going to actually make it now zero now this would actually be different if you were going to do something else uh, do a different type of application such as a timer application but notification.fire date uh, time interval since now zero is going to be perfect for what we are going to do we're going to create this timer all by ourselves. This this just seems to be a lot easier to me. So we can easily just do this by saying uh, variable timer equals ns timer um, open parentheses I'm sorry ns timer dot scheduled timer with time interval and this is going to be the one with target selector and user info so our time interval is just going to be one second. So every second, this is going to move our variable down by one. Our target, we will just say is uh, the self, that our self, because we're affecting the app itself. Our selector, we need to type in a capital S selector, capital S selector and then open parentheses, close parentheses, open quotation mark, close quotation mark inside of that. And this is going to be the name of our function right here. So just copy and paste that right into there. Or you can type it out if you want. Our user info, we're, going, we're not taking any user info. And repeats, true. It is going to repeat. Now go down, go up here and we want to create a variable of time. So we're going to say var time equals 10. So after 10 seconds, or so basically every second, this is going to subtract one second from this time, and then it's going to call this notification right here. And we can do this by just simply saying inside of our func function for notification, uh, time minus, minus equals one. So every time this function is called, which is every one second, it's going to subtract one from our time. Now go down here and you say if, open parentheses, close parentheses, time, time is equal equal, because equal equal is a comparison statement. So if actually you want something more along the lines of, if it's lesser than or equal to zero, so once it hits zero or when time hits zero, then we want this notifi notification to be called. So after that, you want to say open curly bracket, and then after this, after the UI application, you want to have the close quotation, close curly bracket. And now if we built and ran this right now, you will see that, uh, let's go home, so command shift H, and you will see in about far, far five more seconds, it'll show our notification and there you have it build your fortress you can click on that and actually one there's another thing that could be done oh there that's a sort of a big problem it just keeps calling it over and over again so this should actually just be equal to equal equal to zero sorry about that and also we would want to say inside of this time is equal to equal to zero timer dot invalidate or sorry we created this timer up here so let's go up here and we're going to create this timer outside of it so say just go right up here and we're going to say var timer equals ns timer open parentheses close parentheses then go up here and we want 
go into our view to load and we want to take off the var off of that function that we have right there. And now we can call this from inside of this function that we have down here. And we can easily just say timer.invalidate. Now this invalidates our timer so it's no longer counting down and giving us more and more notifications as we're going along because that would be bad. So now let's say time and now we can actually move this back to if it's lesser than or equal to zero. Now let's build and run this. And let's go home real quick. And now we should get our banner notification pretty soon. All right, there we have it. There is our notification. And as you can see, that is the only notification. So that is good sign. And also, if you're not getting application, uh, getting any notifications, go into your settings, go down here to your notifications uh, application that we just created, go over here to your notifications, and uh, make sure allow notifications is on, and then also you can change the style of, of alert notifications that are involved. Now this is totally up to the user, so the user can change whether they want banners or alerts. So let's say I want alerts. So now if we were to go back, uh, Command Shift H, and build and run this application again, wait a ten, wait ten seconds. Uh, we should actually get an alert notification onto our scene, more like. So now there we have it. We have our alert notification that says close or go back to app. And to make sure, go click on go back to app and it works. So that is how you work with notifications with Swift and Xcode. I hope you guys found this enjoyable. And also before I go out, I am just going to give a shout out to uh, these websites that helped me out. The Code Ninja, he only has a few tutorials on his archive, but go check him out. One deals with the exact same problem that I'm just showing you today, but it's all in text form. So notifications in iOS 8 part one and part two. So they're all really nice tutorials, but you should post more. Just must say that. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe down below. If you guys have any comments or suggestions that you would like for future tutorials, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. And if you want to know more about me, be sure to hit me up on Twitter or any of those other social networks down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.